hydraulic machines are machinery and tools that use liquid fluid power to do simple work. Heavy equipment is a common example. In this type of machine, hydraulic fluid is transmitted throughout the machine to various hydraulic motors and hydraulic cylinders and becomes pressurized according to the resistance present. The fluid is controlled directly or automatically by control valves and distributed through hoses and tubes. The popularity of hydraulic machinery is due to the very large amount of power that can be transferred through small tubes and flexible hoses, and the high power density and wide array of actuators that can make use of this power. Hydraulic machinery is operated by the use of hydraulics, where a liquid is the powering medium force and torque multiplication. A fundamental feature of hydraulic systems is the ability to apply force or torque multiplication in an easy way, independent of the distance between the input and output, without the need for mechanical gears or levers, either by altering the effective areas in two connected cylinders or the effective displacement between a pump and motor. In normal cases, Hydraulic ratios are combined with a mechanical force or torque ratio for optimum machine designs such as boom movements and track drives for an excavator. Examples Two hydraulic cylinders interconnected Cylinder C1 is 1 inch in radius and Cylinder C2 is 10 inches in radius. If the force exerted on C1 is 10 lbf, the force exerted by C2 is 1000 lbf because C2 is a hundred times larger in area as a C1. The downside to this is that you have to move C1 a hundred inches to move C2 one inch. The most common use for this is the classical hydraulic jack where a pumping cylinder with a small diameter is connected to the lifting cylinder with a large diameter. Pump and motor If a hydraulic rotary pump with the displacement NCC rev is connected to a hydraulic rotary motor with 100 cc rev, the shaft torque required to drive the pump is 10 times less than the torque available at the motor shaft. But the shaft speed for the motor is 10 times less than the pump shaft speed. This combination is actually the same type of force multiplication as the cylinder example just that the linear force in this case is a rotary force, defined as torque. Both these examples are usually referred to as a hydraulic transmission or hydrostatic transmission involving a certain hydraulic gear ratio. Hydraulic circuits for the hydraulic fluid to do work, it must flow to the actuator and or motors, then return to a reservoir. The fluid is then filtered and repumped. The path taken by hydraulic fluid is called a hydraulic circuit of which there are several types. Open center circuits use pumps which supply a continuous flow. The flow is returned to tank through the control valve's open center, that is, when the control valve is centered. It provides an open return path to tank and the fluid is not pumped to a high pressure. Otherwise, if the control valve is actuated it routes fluid to and from an actuator and tank. The fluid's pressure will rise to meet any resistance, since the pump has a constant output. If the pressure rises too high, fluid returns to tank through a pressure relief valve. Multiple control valves may be stacked in series. This type of circuit can use inexpensive, constant displacement pumps. Closed center circuits supply full pressure to the control valves, whether any valves are actuated or not. The pumps vary their flow rate, pumping very little hydraulic fluid until the operator actuates a valve. The valve's spool therefore doesn't need an open center return path to tank. Multiple valves can be connected in a parallel arrangement and system pressure is equal for all valves. Constant pressure and load sensing systems the closed center circuits exist in two basic configurations, normally related to the regulator for the variable pump that supplies the oil. Constant pressure systems, standard. Pump pressure always equals the pressure setting for the pump regulator. This setting must cover the maximum required load pressure. Pump delivers flow according to required summer flow to the consumers. 
The CP system generates large power losses if the machine works with large variations in load pressure and the average system pressure is much lower than the pressure setting for the pump regulator. CP is simple in design, works like a pneumatic system. New hydraulic functions can easily be added and the system is quick in response. Constant pressure systems, unloaded. Same basic configuration as standard CP system but the pump is unloaded to a low standby pressure when all valves are in neutral position. Not so fast response as standard CP but pump lifetime is prolonged. Load sensing systems generates less power losses as the pump can reduce both flow and pressure to match the load requirements but requires more tuning than the CP system with respect to system stability. The LS system also requires additional logical valves and compensator valves in the directional valves. Thus, it is technically more complex and more expensive than the CP system. The LS system system generates a constant power loss related to the regulating pressure drop for the pump regulator. The average is around 2 megapascals. If the pump flow is high the extra loss can be considerable. The power loss also increases if the load pressures vary a lot. The cylinder areas, motor displacements and mechanical torque arms must be designed to match load pressure in order to bring down the power losses. Pump pressure always equals the maximum load pressure when several functions are run simultaneously and the power input to the pump equals the X sum of flow. Five basic types of load sensing systems Load sensing without compensators in the directional valves Hydraulically controlled LS pump Load sensing with upstream compensator for each connected directional valve Hydraulically controlled LS pump Load sensing with downstream compensator for each connected directional valve Hydraulically controlled LS pump Load sensing with a combination of upstream and downstream compensators Hydraulically controlled LS pump Load sensing with synchronized, both electric controlled pump displacement and electric controlled valve flow area for faster response Increased stability and fewer system losses. This is a new type of LS system, not yet fully developed. Technically the downstream mounted compensator in a valve block can physically be mounted upstream, but work as a downstream compensator. System type gives the advantage that activated functions are synchronized independent of pump flow capacity. The flow relation between two or more activated functions remains independent of load pressures, even if the pump reaches the maximum swivel angle. This feature is important for machines that often run with the pump at maximum swivel angle and with several activated functions that must be synchronized in speed, such as with excavators. With type system, the functions with upstream compensators have priority. Example, steering function for a wheel loader. The system type with downstream compensators usually have a unique trademark depending on the manufacturer of the valves, for example, LSC, LUDV, and flow sharing, etc. No official standardized name for this type of system has been established but flow sharing is a common name for it. Open and closed circuits. Open loop. Pump inlet and motor return are connected to the hydraulic tank. The term loop applies to feedback. The more correct term is open versus closed circuit. Open center circuits use pumps which supply a continuous flow. The flow is returned to tank through the control valve's open center, that is, when the control valve is centered. It provides an open return path to tank and the fluid is not pumped to a high pressure. Otherwise, if the control valve is actuated it routes fluid to and from an actuator and tank. The fluid's pressure will rise to meet any resistance, since the pump has a constant output. If the pressure rises too high, fluid returns to tank through a pressure relief valve. Multiple control valves may be stacked in series. This type of circuit can use inexpensive, constant displacement pumps. Closed loop. Motor return is connected directly to the pump inlet. 
To keep up pressure on the low pressure side, the circuits have a charge pump that supplies cooled and filtered oil to the low pressure side. Closed loop circuits are generally used for hydrostatic transmissions in mobile applications. Advantages No directional valve and better response, the circuit can work with higher pressure. The pump swivel angle covers both positive and negative flow direction. Disadvantages the pump cannot be utilized for any other hydraulic function in an easy way and cooling can be a problem due to limited exchange of oil flow. High power closed loop systems generally must have a flush valve assembled in the circuit in order to exchange much more flow than the basic leakage flow from the pump and the motor. For increased cooling and filtering, the flush valve is normally integrated in the motor housing to get a cooling effect for the oil that is rotating in the motor housing itself. The losses in the motor housing from rotating effects and losses in the ball bearings can be considerable as motor speeds will reach for 5000 rev per minute or even more at maximum vehicle speed. The leakage flow as well as the extra flush flow must be supplied by the charge pump. A large charge pump is thus very important if the transmission is designed for high pressures and high motor speeds. High oil temperature is usually a major problem when using hydrostatic transmissions at high vehicle speeds for longer periods. For instance when transporting the machine from one workplace to the other, high oil temperatures for long periods will drastically reduce the lifetime of the transmission. To keep down the oil temperature, the system pressure during transport must be lowered, meaning that the minimum displacement for the motor must be limited to a reasonable value. Circuit pressure during transport around 200 to 250 bars is recommended. Closed loop systems in mobile equipment are generally used for the transmission as an alternative to mechanical and hydrodynamic transmissions. The advantage is a stepless gear ratio and a more flexible control of the gear ratio depending on the load and operating conditions. The hydrostatic transmission is generally limited to around 200 kW maximum power, as the total cost gets too high at higher power compared to a hydrodynamic transmission. Large wheel loaders for instance and heavy machines are therefore usually equipped with converter transmissions. Recent technical achievements for the converter transmissions have improved the efficiency and developments in the software have also improved the characteristics. For example selectable gear shifting programs during operation and more gear steps, giving them characteristics close to the hydrostatic transmission. Hydrostatic transmissions for earth-moving machines, such as for track loaders, are often equipped with a separate inch pedal that is used to temporarily increase the diesel engine RPM while reducing the vehicle speed in order to increase the available hydraulic power output for the working hydraulics at low speeds and increase the tractive effort. The function is similar to stalling a converter gearbox at high engine RPM. The inch function affects the preset characteristics for the hydrostatic gear ratio versus diesel engine RPM.